So here we have the uh, end of the second half of the of chapter two. And there's just a few little uh, bits that are worth mentioning. Firstly, of course, we get here, our street is a little busier than when we left it. And we get this description of uh, the minutiae of suburbia. Um, and and it kind of has a, uh, a nostalgic effect on us and a, and a calming effect both on Charlie and on the reader. Very much like Mockingbird, we, we get time and place immersed in the uh, in the novel here, uh, particularly in this little paragraph. As it goes, we discover that Jeffrey's dad is the one in, who keeps the garden in the street. Um, uh, and that garden both is alluring and dangerous with all the creatures and uh, insects that it um, that it brings forth. So there's a calm and a peacefulness and in this suburban street there's a kindness, there's a gentleness which is in direct contrast to uh, some of the issues that are going on in town. We've just seen a rather vicious uh, cricket training uh, session uh, for Geoffrey. He's lost his cricket ball and Kids haven't been very kind to him and the coach doesn't seem to care. So this is a nice contrast. As it continues, we get the uh, interesting insight into the collective novel they wrote called Pope on a Rope, um, which is their, their sort of dime a dozen uh, pulp fiction that they've, they've done. Um, but you get this interesting paragraph here um, about writing and the idea of, of writing fiction in terms of contextual fact and that in writing fiction it seems to say to us that you're allowed to take certain um, uh, devices that give you a, a, a certain devices that give you a license with the truth uh, truth is stranger than fiction dickens got away with a lot and then they talk about the convenience of, of even the biblical stories uh, as it goes on uh, it's an interesting insight into how the novelists themselves are working um, on the outside, that there are minor inconveniences with the anachronistic stuff, but they're necessary, I suppose, in looking at a perfect way uh, of engaging with our past, uh, much the same way that Mark Twain does with Puddinhead Wilson and other writers did in England 100 years before that in that sort of romantic style. Of course, once we get to chapter three, we get the um, key issue of, of the information starting to come to light. The, the chapter opens with this wasp uh, sense of foreboding, sense of doom. There is uh, something sinister and nasty going on just outside of the frame of reference for Jasper. He disturbs the wasp and he thinks he's made it more angry. Here we have a pretty simple metaphor about the disruption of that peaceful uh, revere of the um, of the uh, world of Jasper Jones. Um, they mention Vietnam War protests. Um, and again, in 1965, uh, it's very unlikely that that was going on in Australia. You can see here in the article that really it's about 1970 that, that people started claiming um, anti-Vietnam War sentiment. Uh, if you go through the story, you'll note that in 1966, uh, Harold Holt had defeated um, the Labour Party, uh, and then US President LBJ, who was the president who took over after um, JFK was shot, uh, wanted to extend the war and halt claims all the way with LBJ, a very famous line in Australian history. So again, the novel is kind of in a bit of conflict with, um, with history at the time. The Vietnam War, certainly not popular uh, for most intellectuals, no war is. Um, I'm not sure if there were terribly large protests in 1965, but again, as was mentioned, the novelist has a duty above and beyond the truth, according to this particular novel. Um, so as it, the, the chapter three starts, we get the uh, sense that there is a problem. The mother has changed her tune about the children and the way they behave, stay inside, stay indoors. There's been that wasp. Things are not looking good. One big call to history is when uh, Charlie starts to read some true crime and he comes across um, Eric Edgar Cook, the night caller. Um, so this actually really places the novel in its context and does it quite well at this situation in this moment. 